When converting a three-phase induction motor into a generator, we need to use appropriately sized capacitors to drive and offset the inductive characteristics of the motor, improving the motor's power factor and efficiency performance. But what size capacitor should I use? If this question confuses you a lot, you might want to find out how to determine the correct capacitor size for your need. In this tutorial, we will explain what capacitor size implies and provide you with all necessary formulas and important considerations you would need to figure it out yourself. So keep watching! To determine the appropriate capacitor size for your generator conversion project, calculate the necessary capacitance value based on the demands of your circuit. For a capacitor, the most basic rating is its capacitance. It specifies how much charge a capacitor can store when a voltage is applied across it. This fundamental property has significant implications for your generator design and functionality because it reflects the quantitative relationship between the stored charge and the resulting voltage. Calculations based on the following parameters will guide you in selecting the right capacitor size. You need to consider the motor's power rating, the voltage applied to the motor, motor full load current, desired generator speed, motor power factor, as well as several other factors. You should consider the motor's power rating when sizing capacitors because the required capacitance directly relates to the motor's horsepower, meaning a larger motor will need a larger capacitor to achieve efficient operation. The voltage rating refers to the maximum voltage that a capacitor can endure. Always select capacitors with a voltage rating that is higher than the line voltage to prevent safety risks. The capacitance and the voltage rating can be used to define the capacitor code. The voltage marked on the capacitor indicates the peak voltage it can accept not operational voltage. The next important consideration is the motor's power factor. Power factor represents the ratio between active power and apparent power. In other words, it shows the efficiency of your device utilizing electricity. To improve power factor, capacitor banks are introduced here to provide power factor compensation by canceling out the inductive or lagging reactive power of the motor. For induction motors, the power factor is usually assumed as 0.8. Then let's introduce the basic formulas that are used to calculate the capacitor size for an electric motor. The required capacitance can be calculated using the equations as shown here. Here is a brief description of each of the above equations. First, you need to calculate the apparent power based on the input values of the motor's horsepower, voltage, and power factor. Next, determine the reactive power by multiplying the apparent power by the sine of the arc cosine of the power factor. Finally, calculate the capacitance per phase in microfarads required. These calculations are essential in ensuring the capacitor is sized correctly for the generator conversion. For a clearer understanding, here is an example of the step-by-step -step calculation procedures to determine the desired capacitor size based on the provided equations. Suppose we have a 5 HP 208 volts three-phase motor to be converted to a generator with a desired operating speed and power factor of 0.8. Firstly, enter the horsepower, voltage, and power factor of the motor into the first formula to gain the apparent power. The result is 22.5 kVA. Secondly, figure out the reactive power by multiplying the calculated apparent power by the sine of the arc cosine of the power factor 0.8, which is 0.6. The reactive power is calculated as 15.7 kVAR. Lastly, assuming the AC line frequency is 60 Hz, multiply 15.7 kVAR by 10 to the power of 6, and then divide the result by the product of 2 pi 60, representing the line frequency, and 208 squared. The result, approximately 23.5 microfarads, signifies the capacitance needed for your electric motor. Pay attention here. The resulting microfarad should match the size of each capacitor, but the total capacitance per phase is three times the individual capacitor value. As in our three-phase generator system, the capacitor bank is connected in parallel in a star scheme. And that is so much about the calculation part. For how capacitors indicate all these parameters, including the capacitance, check out this video guide to capacitor coding system published earlier on ATO channel. Apart from the above parameters, other things to consider when deciding what size capacitor to use for your three-phase motor are factors such as frequency, ripple current rating, temperature, and the physical size of a capacitor. And the motor's design and intended application affect the optimal capacitor size. 
so please refer to motor nameplate or consult the motor manufacturer's specifications if available. In conclusion, sizing capacitors for converting a three-phase AC motor into a generator involves careful calculations and considerations to ensure efficiency and functionality. By following these steps and guidelines, you can successfully transform your motor into a low-cost, reliable power-generating unit. As an industry-leading electronics provider, ATO offers diverse products to help optimize power, automation, and energy needs for a wide variety of market applications. If you're looking to learn more about our innovative solutions, go ahead and visit our website to talk to our team of experts online or click the links below the video to access our extensive portfolio. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more insightful content on electrical engineering and DIY projects. Wishing you success in your generator conversion endeavors. We'll see you in the next video.